Hey guys, it's Nick. And John here. Uh, and I have really taken to uh, mixology during this lockdown quarantine time. Uh, and I've come for a few cocktails, which we've talked about a couple times before. But today, you're going to be trying one of my favorite cocktails to make uh, for the first time. Yeah, and this one you've talked to me for about a while on this, and he's, he really has turned into a mixologist. Every time we do a virtual call, this is nice actually being in person again. So I can actually taste it because over, you know, over virtually, it's not, it doesn't taste the same to me. Well, it's about to be uh, your favorite new cocktail. Uh, it's got a very simple name. It's called the Simply Chocolate. It's just, you know, it's because we're going to use... Uh, chocolate today for this which is uh, right here and it's um, simple 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 dark chocolate it's 70% cacao uh, which means for me as a type 1 diabetic doesn't have too many carbs or sugar uh, but that's not the star of the show the star of the show is of course Reposado Villa wine uh, it is my favorite of our of our three expressions yeah. uh, it's gonna be paired with a little chocolate bitters uh, now don't be alarmed by all this chocolate conversation because it's not sweet um, this is actually going to be uh, a bit warmer, kind of like a nice fire, you know, it's just got that fireside kind of uh, smoky feel to it. And when you add the, the espresso, we have two shots of espresso here, um, it's going to be perfect after dinner special or if you're trying to turn all the way up, perhaps a, a night in watching, uh, binge watching your favorite TV show, this is the cocktail you might have. This sounds like a good holiday cocktail. It right? is indeed. So let's get started here, guys. Uh, first thing we're going to do... Put some ice here in this shaker. I go with four cubes. Four large, large square cubes. cubes. I then dump both shots of espresso. Now I'm making one for each of us. So for you at home, you probably do one shot of espresso. Um, hopefully you're sharing it with somebody. Hopefully. If not, one's go fine. Go for it. <laughs> and then I take the beautiful bottle of uh, Villa One Reposado and I, uh, I'm healthy with my pour because you know what? Why the hell wouldn't I be? Uh, so I'm gonna go with three shots of Villa One Reposado here. Um, right in there. Set this back down. Next up is our chocolate bitters. Now, I don't really have a system for this. I just kinda dash, dash, dash. Usually it's about four or five. Sometimes if I'm feeling especially crazy, six. Um, and then from there, it's very simple. I've never mastered this, but uh, I like to believe um, that I could have been a mixologist in a past life. Don't so be modest. Shake. Really get after it. Once that's done, I'm going to take two cubes of ice in each of these glasses. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, they're stuck together. There you go. And I'm going to simply pour. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. Now coming over here. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Top this one off here. And the real key to this is two things. You just do a little dash on top, just a little bit. Boom. Boom. So the first thing you're tasting is a little Villa One right after you've tasted this. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Here we go. Just a nice sort of sprinkling of that dark chocolate. It's kind of pretty, too, actually, I have to Look say. Look at that. Yeah. It is a thing of beauty. It's beautiful. And you get a really delicious kind of dark chocolate entryway into this cocktail. So John, cheers to life as it should be. To life as it should be. To staying up all night. To great holidays. Great and holidays. Family and friends. Mm, that is yummy. And not too chocolatey. Just no. has a perfect little touch to it. Just a hint. So this uh, is simply chocolate. Simply chocolate. And of course, little one, but. The name's kind of a work in progress, so don't judge us, okay? Just enjoy the drink. Cheers.